I went a little too far. We're trying to make this less of a hotel, more of a home. Today's my day. We're at the pool in Florida. I wish it didn't have to come to this, but it has. It's a very big morning this morning. Ryan, good morning. Will you tell me what's happening? A little job interview. Job interview, okay, first one. First one of my life. Excellent. So, okay. Maybe the last one. You could potentially have this job your whole life, really. Well. I mean, just climb the ladder. You could. Yeah. Right, right. And, and I don't know, you might have to interview for, for promotions and that kind of thing, but yeah. you know, this is sort of, yeah. Tell me what you're doing. So I'm going and interviewing at a driving range kind of place. They have a par three course, but uh, it has mini golf, a driving range, and a par three course. And I always go to the driving range. I'm there like twice, two, three times a week. And I was, and I saw that they were hiring, so I dropped off my application yesterday. He said, "Why don't you come in for an interview at nine o'clock tomorrow morning?" So we got to be there at like eight fifty nine. Yeah, can't be late. Um, but yeah, I'm going to interview. So. Well, you smell good. You look great. You look like you should work at a driving range. All right. Excellent. So you, did you prepare? You have some answers to some questions? No. Okay. All right. Maybe I on the mean, way over, you and Dad can bit. talk. I've read talk it through through. a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. But, well, you know most of the answers anyway. I mean, they ask you the questions that, you know, what you think about this, what you yeah. think about it. I've you, been interviewed many times by Dad. Yeah, that's true, actually, uh, yes. You guys have seen a lot of my interviews. That's right, after golf and everything, so you know how to do it. Uh, Excellent, well, let us know how it goes. Good luck. Thank you. I'm excited yeah. for you. Thank you. Excellent. This vlog would be really awkward if I didn't get the job. <laughs> you, you know, it's okay, it's real life, though. It would be weird. It wouldn't be that bad. Anyway. Anyway, all right, good luck. <laughs> do not ask me. Well, yeah, when you go there, ask if you get a discount at the pro shop, Ryan. <laughs> Bad idea. <laughs> Say, hey, can I golf for free here? <laughs> hey, like, can I what, can I get a discount yeah, at the vending the machine? Perks? Yeah, what are the perks? Hey, real quick. Hi. I'm going to leave you long. I'm to Perks? Uh, what am I going to get? Yeah, right exactly. What are the fringe benefits of working here? <laughs> For me. Exactly. <laughs> Listen, all I really want are free range balls. Exactly, that's all I want. I'll that's work a few that. hours a week. Exactly. All right. Nice Love you. Hey, kitty. Up, Good morning. Were you out all night? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I have no. Wait, wait. What? Her eyes are probably trying to adjust. Hi, sweet girl. How are you? Where are you going? Give it a stretch. Yeah, I sit on the night. You know I would you totally mean? get mad at you, Ryan. Thank you. Good luck, babe. Phone on silent too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good luck. Go off. get him. Thank you. Oh. Text me when wait. you're ready. A what? Text me when you're ready. All right. See ya. <laughs>what the expectation is, maybe to not leave their dishes around, maybe to let us know where they're going when they're coming back. You know, just basic, basic things. And I don't think it's that the kids don't wanna do that. I think it's more that they forget to do that because they get in their own, you know, in their own lives and situations. And oh, I gotta leave for work or I'm going to visit Molly or whatever it is. Um, so we just have a little gentle reminder on the door. How do you guys handle that? Do you have rules? Um, like before you're allowed to leave the house or for your kids before they're allowed to leave the house or before they're allowed to go out, like what are their rules? I'd love to know because we have been managing this for a while now. <laughs> and I find that if we don't set expectations and hold people accountable, that it tends to wane and then the parents get mad and this, that, you know, and the kids get frustrated. So anyway, um, so we have a little gentle reminder paper up there. Hopefully that's going to work. Well, today is... A big day, today's Tuesday, and we're leaving for the beach on Thursday. So we're doing our annual family trip to the Outer Banks. 
um, on Thursday, um, and we're gonna leave late Thursday night and drive through the night and get there on Friday morning. Um, we have an early entry to the house, so I'm so excited about that. So today, I am going to be making food. My sister, who organized this trip this year, I organized it last year, and she organized it this year. So she has laid out like who's responsible for dinner what night. So we have Sunday night. So I'm going to make um, pork verde, which is like um, pork cubes in chili verde with chilies and uh, green chilies and um, cannellini beans. So I'm gonna make that and we eat it over rice. So I'm gonna make it and freeze it so I don't have to cook while we're there, which is awesome. The other thing I'm also on the hook for, which I'm on the hook for every family get together that we have is walking tacos. If you guys can remember back to our swim team days, the walking tacos are where it's like, or it could be called taco in a bag. So I'm gonna also pre-make that um, taco meat as well and get that ready and freeze that. So that is on my docket today. I'm gonna wait for Ryan to come back from his interview, go for a walk, um, I have a meeting and then I'm going to go to the store and get the food so I can make it and freeze it. And a couple other errands I need to run. I think everybody pretty much has what they need. Brennan needs flip-flops. Kitty needs flip-flops. We might just get them down there. Ryan wants to get a skim board. So um, we'll probably take it to the Outer Banks and then we'll take it down to Florida with us so he can use it down in Florida. So that is a double duty purchase right there. So anyway, today's a big day, really big preparation day for the beach. And I'm going to start my pile too of all the things I'm bringing to the beach. We bought um, like our car, we're taking the CRV down and it's not big enough to fit all of our junk. So we bought a rooftop like bag thing, which I'm pretty excited about. We always say, oh, we should get one of those. We should get one of those. And we never have. So we finally, we got one. So we're going to put our luggage up there. So we'll have enough room for the kids um, to hang out and, and all the food that we have to bring too, because we, our list is, let me show you what our list is, what we need to bring. My sister is very organized. She um, took what I did last year and totally gave it an upgrade. <laughs> so this is us, Jill and Mike. We need to bring dish soap, paper plates, counter spray, case of water, milk, eggs, pancake mix, syrup, half and half syrup bars, like granola bars, two things of bread, salad dressing, walking tacos stuff. And this is what everybody else has. So if you need a list for your family getaway, you can copy this if you'd like to. And then what she did is she took it down here and like redid like what everybody needs, which is great. So everybody should bring this for themselves. And then these are the days that everybody has dinner and what we think that they're making. So that's what it's going to look like. These are the days we're gonna be at the beach. And so I need to go to the, sh the store as well and get these things. I already got counter spray um and that's it <laughs> so i have to get everything else on this list so we'll use the back of the crv to have that stuff we'll put our luggage up top um, i'm pretty excited so come along with us as we get ready for the beach and um today's my day well remember i told you i was waiting for ryan to get back from his interview it has now been an hour and 18 minutes since the interview started. Mike dropped him off at the interview. But got, he was waiting there for him. He got sick. He came home. I'm like, where's Ryan? Still there. So I don't know if he's still interviewing. He's been an hour and 20 minutes. It's either going really well or really poorly. <laughs> really poorly. Or he left the interview. Did he have his eating at his clubs with him? Did he? <laughs> no. I, was, I thought maybe he'd interview and then go play, but we thought maybe they just started to put him to work or something. I have no idea what's going on, but he hasn't texted. No, just waiting. He's doing okay. Maybe he's uh, had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> exactly. Crying inside the office. I hope not. I mean, I've been in a lot of interviews. I don't know any of them that have been this long, especially for a first job. So um, we'll wait to find out what's going on. Where did Ryan go? I know. <laughs> he, he might be thinking, like, it was not funny. Like, this is his first interview. He might think, like, all interviews are an hour and a half. Right. Well, Ryan is... Um, he embellishes, you, so not a you short know, if talker. you say, hey, why do you want to work here? He, he could be good. He can go on for hours. <laughs> exactly. He's a talker. You guys know that. So maybe that's what it is. But apparently the guy he's interviewing with is an ex-military guy. Mm -hmm. So I would think he would be very like, boom, boom, boom. And Ryan was very prepared for that. Like, I need to just answer the questions and move on. But who knows? Maybe this guy opened up. It's been a while been a while. All right, so stay tuned to find out what's going on with Ryan. Now it's been an hour and 19 minutes. We've heard nothing from him. So 
Hope you got the job. So maybe he is working, who knows? Okay, um, should I be uh, happy that I'm coming to pick you up or should I be sad that I'm coming to pick you up? Yeah, you should be delighted. Oh, it's a good sign. All right, I'll be there in 10. All right, that's it. That's it. Delighted. Delighted, said. okay, that is a good sign. That is a good sign, a, a good sign. all right, <laughs> can I go with you? Sure, come on along. All right, let's do it. This is a place where Ryan, I think, is going to work. Hi, buddy. How'd it go? Really? Talk to me. Yeah, I got the job. So oh my gosh, you did. Pretty far. Okay. So you have all your paperwork and stuff. I feel a little bit like a helicopter mom. I was just trying to get some B-roll, no, so, and then you no, walked out. So. <laughs> Congratulations. First interview <laughs> ever, and he gets the job. I'm so proud of you, Ryan. You are you awesome. Can I borrow some money? Yeah. <laughs> when do you start? Uh, tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I gotta be here at 7. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Congratulations, bud. Thank you very it's much. Fantastic. Proud Thank of you. Thank you very much. Were you much. nervous? Uh, no, it was actually more casual than I thought it would be. Uh huh. Well, it was more casual because it wasn't a lot of interview. It felt like I already had the job and he was just teaching me the ropes. Oh, oh really? So did he walk you around and train you and stuff? Yeah, well, not, we didn't really leave the pro shop, but okay. in the pro shop, he, he just, we just did a lot of talking. Okay. Like um, Do you think you'll get along with him? Is he a nice guy? Yes, he's a great guy. Congratulations, buddy. I'm That's so proud of you. you. That's really great. It's that a big great. deal. Congrats. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got his job. Oh, golf man. Yeah. Are you going to work today? No. Oh. Tomorrow, though. Oh, let's yeah. go. Yeah. That's fine. And then I know it's kind of funny. Most people bring their big SUV to Sam's Club, but I bring my bug. And look, I've got stuff over here. I got a new be beach towel. I got toilet paper, pancake mix, Doritos, hamburger, all the stuff I need. We are jam packed in here. Can you guys see? Hopefully that wasn't too close. But that is my Sam's Club haul. And I usually, actually I've never not been able to fit it all in the bag. And I remember the one time that Mike and I bought that huge 70 inch TV and put it in the bag. So I have to tell you, this is my favorite car ever. It carries everything. So I'm gonna go home tonight. I'm gonna make, I think I already told you this when we came, Port Verde. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work and then um, make Port Verde. I think Ryan went golfing. Katie is at, I just talked to her. She and Caden are at the pool at our house in Florida, which is so nice. A little bit jealous. Hey guys. Katie and Caden. Hey guys. We're chilling. We're at the pool in Florida at our Florida house. We just walked or biked to Publix and got a bunch of food. So I got a salad <laughs> and cherries <laughs> and um, a naked juice. Hayden got no, a. No, I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Uh, listen, guys. <laughs> I've had my wisdom teeth out, which means I haven't had real food, and I've been having cravings now because I just want some real food. Uh, so, when I had the opportunity to go to Publix and get the food that I wanted, I went a little too far. I got two boxes of donut holes. Wait, what? Uh uh. And. No, listen, I meant to get one, but it's buy one, get one free. Why wouldn't I? I mean, that's. That's just stupid. It's a free box of donuts, which I'll probably not. I mean, I'll give to my dad or something. <laughs> So we got the donut holes, which are actually not that good. Yeah, I don't know why he got them. Um, I got a whole thing of these. Hold them up. That's a huge bag, okay? I was planning to share them. Yeah, I told you. You really don't like those. Um, I got a sandwich called the uh, Havana Bold. Which has what? <laughs> uh, bacon. bacon, turkey. It's on. Damn. It's on whole grain bread. Chipotle sauce. Chipotle I got some lettuce. Cheese. No, it's Gouda cheese, I think. And then, uh, uh, tomato, lettuce, uh, banana pepper. And this. Those are like 99 cents I had to. 39 grams of added sugar in this. Listen, listen. No, I eat, I'm eat up. Slow. He hasn't been able to eat, so I'm happy that he's eating. Yeah, but like when I eat one of these, like you guys would usually go like this, uh, I put it on your molars. Now I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway so and that's then, the difference between the two of us and he's no, so fit yes 
No, I you, just, you don't eat healthy, but you're you're healthy looking. Like you work out and stuff, so that's good. <laughs> all right, you know what? I'm gonna go in a pool. <laughs> We're gonna go swim. I'm just kidding, Kaden. You're the best. Where are you gonna swim? Where the? Oh my gosh, she's laying on top of the car. She's so silly. <laughs> Okay, I started to make the pork verde that I said earlier today I was going to make for dinner when we go to Outer Banks. Um, I had to do this in batches because I really don't have a pan big enough to make pork verde for 17. <laughs> I wish I had a catering kitchen, but I don't have a catering kitchen. But anyway, this is my third batch right there of the pork. So I basically got a pork tenderloin, like a, actually it wasn't even tenderloin, just a pork loin, a really long one. And it was, um, I think it was nine pounds of pork and I cut it up into cubes, about a half an inch or to an inch cubes. I put salt and pepper on it and cumin all over them. And now I'm just uh, frying them in, I wouldn't even say frying, just, just sauteing them in olive oil so they cook and it seals the juices in from the other side. And then I'm going to put them in, here we stir that. I'm gonna put them in a crock pot. One, half a batch actually, half of the batch in a crock pot and the other half will cook right here in this pan. And then I'm gonna mix them with um, cannellini beans and wait I'll show you cannellini beans and chilies and this herdies I think you say herdies herdies I'm not sure this guacamole salsa is excellent but make sure if you have kids like mine that you get mild because I've accidentally in the past gotten medium and that did not go over so well <laughs> so get them mild and then also I use herdies um just their regular green chili verde, or yeah, uh, salsa verde. So I have the guacamole salsa and the salsa verde, but I have to run to the store and get that because I completely forgot to get it today at the store. So I'm gonna run and get that, and then I'm gonna mix all this together. I'll show you when I mix it together, and then it's just going to cook for probably, I don't know, maybe two hours on the stove, and then I'll have it cook on low overnight in a crock pot, because again, I have to divide the batch into two. And then I'm gonna put that in some freezer bags in the freezer and freeze them flat. And then when we cook them, I'm just going to heat them back up and then put them over rice. And I also bought uh, tortilla shells, like flour tortilla shells in case people wanna put them in a flour tortilla. So good, and I'll have shredded cheese with it. But I'll take you through and show you what it looks like when I mix it all together. loft bed and i'm all the way up here we were watching some dude perfect yeah i want to show her skiing stereotypes because because we love because she loves skiing i love skiing and uh i was thinking about it today and i was like i should show her that video so yes it was very good yeah. and actually now i'm all jazzed to go skiing i mean not uh, that i'm never jazzed to go skiing i'm very much jazzed but, to go skiing uh just around the corner and anyway what made me happy today was uh getting a job and playing 18 with uh, my boy Christian. Yeah? So, yeah? How'd that go? Very fun. It yes? Very well, yeah. Ryan had the perfect day. So let's talk about that. So first, you got a job mm -hmm. at a golf place. At a golf place. Then you came home, ate, and then went back and did what? I hit a bucket of balls. Hit, like, the large bucket. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> then played 18. And then played 18 hole. Mm-hmm. And then came back and made a bacon cheeseburger. Bacon, yes. And then we went to the store and got some ice cream. Yes. Which you didn't even eat. No. But you had a chocolate chip cookie. I'll have it tomorrow. Yeah. And then we watched you perfect. Cookie. Done. So tomorrow morning, first day of work. Mm hmm What time? Seven. All right. So it's time to go to bed. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Good luck tomorrow. Well, I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get a good night's sleep. Good day today. Congratulations. Very proud of you. Good night's sleep. I love you. Nice see you in the morning. Mm -hmm. Ugh. What made you happy today, baby? 
Um, <sighs> How about a nice clean work shirt? <laughs> yes. And... Stock market's back up. <laughs> uh, okay, that's good. So your investments are doing well. Okay. Brennan has a very exciting announcement he'll be making very soon. And um, so stay tuned to find out what that is. He's trying to get some things in place, right? And then he's going to share Still with working you. working out some details. Working out some details. And he'll share with you his very exciting announcement. Yeah. All right. What made me happy today was Ryan getting a job. I'm very proud of him. I think that was excellent. Um, and I think he's going to excel there. And I think it's good for him. Good job, Ryan. Good job, Ryan. All right, you guys. If you have any work advice for Ryan, comment down below what that is. We will read that to him where he can read it himself. He's pretty proficient in reading these days. <laughs> but comment down below any work advice you might have for him working with the public um, and at a golf, a golf center. And um, also comment down below what made you happy today. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.